Raw Stars, it's me, Tiffany Roth, and I want to share something with you. I am a queen, and I reign supreme. I am the ruler of my thoughts and the designer of my destiny. Each day and in every way, I elevate my mind, I cultivate my body, and I lift my spirit. I am a queen, and I reign supreme. For my goal every day is to be the best me. So that is basically what the goal was for the Queen in 2017 Challenge. And we have completed it in the Tiffany Roth Fit Club and it was one of our best challenges ever. And as you know, our bodies are just really the vehicles that get us from place to place and they're a reflection of what's going on in our minds and in our spirits. So I want to share with you guys, before I announce the winner of the challenge, I want to share with you guys, you know, some of the messages and some of the inspiring um, non-scale victories that happened during this 30-day challenge. Now remember, it was only 30 days, okay? And you could be in this great place that you are going to hear these testimonials in the next 30 days if you just make a decision. If you just make a decision to become the ruler of your life. Not to, let life happen, not, not to let life happen to you, but to take the reins and reign your queendom. So I just want to say thank you. I have my little computer here because I don't have all of the people that participated. But as you know, in the Tiffany Roth Fit Club, we have our own private forum. And um, we talk to each other, support one another. I'm there with you. We're there for each other. And I can tell you, it makes all the difference in the world when you want to change your life. You have to surround yourself with people who uplift and support you. So I just want to say thank you to all the people who were there daily, making it happen, making this challenge a lot of fun. So we have Priscilla, Hema, Sanity, Zivi, Heike, Chris, Jelena, Andrea, Guadalupe, Barate, Daphna, Husna, Maria Jose, Daisy, Graciela, Kanisha, Ebony, Catherine, Mirjana, Oluchi, Isabel, Lydia, Denise, Portia. And then we have uh, our guest appearances that come in, Robin, and people that have been with us from the beginning, okay? Shoshana, that stick with us throughout thick and thin, and we know that some of you have busy lives, but you check in with the TRFC to make sure that you stay a part of this amazing team because our motto is, we are better together. So now before I announce the winner, I'm gonna read some of these testimonials. We had an assignment, and that was to talk about what are your non-scale victories? What are the victories that you had during this 30 days that really don't have anything to do with how much you weigh, you know, or what you look like. How do you feel inside? What are your thoughts like? How have you overcome certain obstacles? That's what I really care about because that person is the one that's going to stay fit, fierce, and fabulous. That person that has control over their minds and over how their emotions are affecting them every day is the one that's going to arrive at the fit body. So I like to focus on the, the whole person to make sure that we're fit in mind, body, and spirit. So I'm going to start off with um, Oluchi, and she says, This challenge was amazing. It pushed me, and I pushed back. I'll list the benefits below. In my body, I learned that I am capable of anything I put my mind to. I push my boundaries this season. Approximately one hour of hard work a day, six days a week. I always thought it was too much, but I learned that my body can do it, and I'm stronger. I lost inches. I didn't know much intentionally because I didn't weigh or measure myself before the challenge, but I can see it and feel it. And in my mind, I can achieve anything I set my mind to. Once my head is in the game, it's game over for any obstacle. Now that was an amazing testimonial. Um, and she continued to say, I eat even more mindfully now because I think of the after more. I learned to speak to myself so that my thoughts, words, and positive energy pave the way to my goals. This is an ongoing thing that I've been working on based on the word for a while, and this challenge reinforced it strongly for me. I learned to focus on the right things, where I want to be, rather than where I don't want to be, and visualize the benefits of my actions to spur me on to make the right choices. Then she spoke about her soul. Oh, soul, so much growth there. I'm not sure I have the words and the benefits to know that my, full, my soul and I feel like 
They can only be understood if I could bear my soul for all y'all to see the things that could be transmitted, but I'll give it a go. I feel lighter. I've been going through the combination of this challenge and other things. I've been working and it has me feeling lighter like a burden is being lifted. I still have a ways to go, but I know I'm, it's happening and I'm so joyful for the future. I'm more open. It helped me dig deep and be honest with myself about my feelings, my reasons for working out, my intentions and goals. Growth. There are no words to really describe this one. Self-love. Thank you, Tiffany, and thank you, ladies. Your honesty and openness, shared experiences really helped me in this challenge in general. And I can tell you that if you guys want to see some of the pictures, I'll be posting them on Facebook and Instagram, and you can go and see some of the pictures of these ladies and see, you know, the changes that they made over the 30 days. And I'm proud of those changes, but I'm really, really proud of these statements because this is what makes a difference. This is what really creates a new lifestyle instead of just a short-term goal. Our next is from Guadalupe, and she says, Reinas, hola chicas, pongo mi antes y después, y el antes me da vergüenza, me sentí muy justo con el reto, me, ina, me anima y me sentía más ligera, siento que mi rendimiento aumento y me pone triste que se acabó. Y más, que ya no aparece, extraño a Tiffany, aunque de pronto llegué a soñarla, Hasta el sueño hacía ejercicios. Me siento contenta. Muchos saludos. And basically she was saying that she was so happy with her results, but at the beginning she didn't do a before picture because she was embarrassed. But now she thinks about exercise. She's so happy that she dreams about exercising. So Guadalupe, I'm so happy that you've made that leap and that now you know that exercising not only is a part of your life, but it's a part of your dreams. And then we have hiking. Heike is a longtime member and she really gave her all in this challenge. Thank you, girl, for that because you were really motivating and uplifting not only for me but for other people in the circle. And she says, The challenge benefited my mind. I feel able to make conscious, clear choices. I have learned, relearned to focus on my goals. I feel energized through the blood flow and I've regained self esteem and to trust in my strength and to my working feel. I feel committed, proud, and capable. Now I just want to take a minute. A lot of times people have these words, but if you're talking about a physical workout challenge, but we want to get good before and after pictures, what is it that you really need? Heike says, I feel committed, proud, and capable. These are the adjectives that you want to describe your life. This is how you reach your goals. Her body, I feel much more flexible instead of stiff. Really happy about this. I feel awakened instead of dizzy and tired. My spine and back is upright. My trousers are fitting. I am dancing around the house. My skin is so good. I feel great within my body and I have the will to continue after this challenge. My sugar and caffeine intake are down and I can see now that I'm capable to go on without them. Basically, I'm grateful to be me. And she also said with her spirit that I feel the positive energy coming from the taking the motivational messages seriously. I love the meditations, the messages throughout the workouts that I keep in mind during my daily life as well. Tiffany's spiritual energy is supporting my energy level. I love the better together, the no competition, and gratitude is such a good exercise to love the life that we have been given. So I thank you, uh, Heike, for that. And I really want to say that, you know, this challenge, I started adding the motiva motivational messages and I will be putting those on YouTube because I found that they were really, really helpful um, just to, because it's your mind, you got to keep your mind on track. When you're trying to work out and get your body right, it's your mind is the one that's like pulling you in this way and that way. So I have these motivational messages to really help you stay on point, your emotions intact, and your mind focused on what it is that you want to achieve. So Daisy says, the challenge is over, but the journey continues. This is the most important lesson that I have learned. I'm never going to be perfect, but I want and need to be healthy. So I have grown. I stopped being so hard on myself and I have decided to keep going. I look forward to growth ahead, but for now I am enough. I am strong and I am a queen. I'm living in the moment, making choices for now and being thankful for my now. 
Tomorrow is not promised to me, so instead of picking myself apart, I'm going to be kind and proud of every queenly choice I make and get up from every unqueenly choice and do better. I still am so excited to keep going. In just 30 days, I have lost six pounds. I lost four inches from my upper waist, three inches from my middle waist, and two inches from my pouch area. That is a total of nine inches. I am thankful, I am happy, and I am proud to be myself. I really, really appreciate this because you know what? Everyone that did the challenge lost from four to 12 pounds in a month, which is great. And maybe that does not that's not the 20 or 30 pounds that you want to do, but this is what matters. In addition to losing the weight, you have your mind and your spirit on your team. That's right, your team, mind, body, and spirit all working together for the mutual goal of having a fabulous life, of reigning supreme in your life every day. So, you know, Daisy also said that, you know, uh, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Her internet, her phone, her choices, but here she is. She finished the challenge and she's still standing. She used different coping methods and with the old habits and emotions came along to try and lay her down. She rebuked them, she got up, and she kept walking, and she's walking towards her goals. It's not going to be easy, but she said, I'm excited and ready to keep going. And she, well, this really line I like that she said in her testimonial, this challenge has taught me to keep on going and has reminded me that I am a queen and my body is my queendom. My life is my queendom. I only get this one time to do it and I'll be damned if I live a life of misery and self-pity. To keep loving myself, this body, and to continue to lose weight, get stronger, physically and mentally, not to try, but to want to do it and do it. One of our motivational messages talking about, talked about trying to do something. You can't try to do anything. You either do it or you don't. There's no halfway when doing something. You didn't almost do it. If you almost did it, you didn't do it, right? <laughs> so we really talked about like not trying and that's just getting it done. And this is Portia. Portia, I'm so proud of you because you know, she's overcome a lot of obstacles. She's here with us. She's boundless energy. She said she lost five pounds. She got herself out of the 180s and into the 170s, and she's excited for more change. My mind has developed so much during this challenge, says Portia. As some of you know, I've struggled with depression, and after seeing a doctor, I discovered that I have an anxiety disorder. This makes life harder when it doesn't need to be. I've continued to put my best foot forward, and I've noticed that I'm becoming more optimistic and more able to control my mind. Tiffany, you have given so much to me and it's hard to put it into words. I feel that old sadness knocking on my door during this challenge and with Tiffany's help, I did not answer. It's amazing just how much can change when you change your mind. I feel mentally stronger than ever before. I feel like confronting bad habits and self-sabotage has helped me realize that I was often hurting myself instead of making myself better. Having the motivational tips were a great help in my life, and not only do they make me feel more connected with Tiffany, but they also helped me to learn more about myself. You opened the veil. My body has proven to be everything I believe it can be. I love working out, and it's funny how I can forget that sometimes. I wake up and just feeling like, eh, but then I listen to the music and I start moving my body and I realize that I want to work out. I want to move my body. I love how it doesn't matter how sore you are, working out always makes it better. It fades in intensity and it even replaces by a burn with like, I'm okay with that, yeah, burn baby, burn Tiff. <laughs> you mentioned how we can always connect with our higher energy and that really spoke to me because I didn't think about it like that in an easy way. I believe so much in energy and everything else I'm unsure of as far as spirituality goes. I love meditating and learning about how to control my mind and focus my energy to create my life to feel like when I discovered Tiffany Roth workouts, I also discovered a group of positive women that make life better. So I have to say that, you know, our motto in the Tiffany Roth Fit Club is that we are better together because, you know, it doesn't, you can't do it alone. And I always talk about the five people that you spend the most time with are going to be a reflection of who you are. So if you want to be fit, fierce, and fabulous, you got to hang out with some fit, fierce, and fabulous people. If not, it's really hard to maintain that level of energy and positive thoughts and healthy eating. So the group of women that we have on the TRFC, and it's not like we're closed in with men, but women are the ones who come. And so women are the ones that we serve. And the next one is Daphna. And she says, in any challenge in life, you need to believe in yourself. And that was a quote from me, Tiffany Roth. So thank you, Daphna, for quoting me. And she says, how did this challenge affect me? Body, 
During this challenge, my beloved body was reminded of all the awesome things it is capable of doing. My body felt loved during this challenge. I asked a lot of it and it cooperated. I asked it to jump, push, kick, bunch, punch, bend, lift, and twist, and it said okay. And then it thanked me. I allowed it to play around with the movement to dance and look silly without feeling judged. And it thanked me by growing astoundingly in strength, flexibility, endurance, and form. The changes she felt in her mind, a real exercise in perseverance. There were obstacles. There were many days I didn't want to do it. Too tired, too late, too cranky. All perfect reasons to get up and just press play. Every time I did it, it was a victory. And every victory strengthened my willpower and my faith in myself even more. I gave myself my word. It feels so good to know that I can count on myself. That's why I was so happy to hear Tiffany say these words I started with. In any challenge in life, the most important thing is to believe in yourself. So, yes, it was a very comforting challenge, confronting challenge. I had to look in the mirror and see that I had lost touch with my inner queen. Well, I knew that, but I faced it daily. But I also had moments of visiting calmness and stillness in my heart during weeks, during and after the workouts, kicking through my own barriers and not feeling like the queen of my life, rediscovering my strength, my power, my value, loving all the women who participated, rooting for everyone to succeed, feeling connected, growing as a woman, learning from old patterns that don't serve me anymore, letting them be and finding new ways, always changing, always growing. So thank you, Daphne, for that, because Daphne has been very, very integral in a lot of those challenges because she keeps people motivated with her amazing energy and spirit, and I just want to say thank you for that, Daphne. Then we have Sandy, who is, let me tell you, Sandy is awesome. She's on fire. She's really become a true athlete during this challenge. She even challenged me, oh, the workouts aren't that hard, Tiffany. So she made me step it up and bring it to her. And I put the challenge, and she rose to the occasion. So I'm really proud of you, Sandy, for doing that. And she weighed in with her. This one thing she says, you know, she had a stressful moment. And she's like, I, I got nervous. And when I get nervous, the first thing I think of is food, especially white bread. But today, I was okay. This, for me, was a big change. I was breaking a bad habit. I'm very proud of myself. She's lost about 6.7 pounds, or 3, ki 3 kilograms, and she lost inches all over. But her most thing that she's happy about is that she lost 2.5 centimeters in her waist. Now, you know we focus on a lot of shaking that booty and working that waist, and everybody that did the challenge noticed their waist go in and their abs got more defined, and you guys will see that in the before and after pictures, which will be on Instagram and on Facebook. Graciela, Graciela says, Realmente estoy muy impresionada por los cambios que hay en mi cuerpo, pero aún más por el impacto que existe en mi vida diaria en mi mente y en mi espíritu. Este reto me hizo ver a poder enterar que hay en mí la belleza de mi alma, de mi espíritu y de mi cuerpo, donde tomo el control de mi vida con alegría, con energía positiva y con mucho amor a ser que soy. A nivel emocional me trajo paz, alegría y amor propio. A nivel espiritual, reconectarme con el poder infinito, superior, Dios, universo, universo Amor infinito y dicha por ser el ser que soy. A nivel físico, perseverancia, motivación y disciplina. Gracias, Tiffany, por bellas y emotivas sesiones de, sesiones de entrenamiento, por hacerme ver el extraordinario ser que yo soy, llenándome de alegría, amor y energía positiva. So, you know, Graciela was saying that she was super happy with the changes that she had, the beauty of her soul, of her spirit, of her body. She was able to connect with her peace, with her happiness, with self-love. And she found that her, her perseverance, her motivation, and her discipline became ruling factors in her life. So thank you for that, Graciela. Priscilla. Now, Priscilla, as you know, is our, um, our poet. After every workout, she puts this amazing poetry of how the workout made her feel. And I can tell you, it gets me pumped. I love that about Priscilla. So she says, the benefits from my, from my mind that I received from the challenge are numerous. It taught me discipline to follow the training schedule and the food plan. Focus on the day to live in the present moment so I can reach my goals. 
to be in control of my mind and not to stray away from the plan, to keep my commitment to be consistent and constant. The challenge kept me in a straight line. Perseverance. Not to give up when I have the blues or lack of energy, how to be determined, dedicated, and devoted, to be resilient, to keep on fighting through my emotions that wanted me to give up and retaliate back into my old habits. Just do it and get it done and reach the finish line, to finish a challenge strong. Motivation. She pumped up her mind with all the wonderful motivational messages, and she was reading a great positive post from the TRC members to keep her motivated. And she learned to look at the workouts as playtime to show up, enjoy the playlist, let loose, and have some fun. So this was a really, really amazing a testimony. I could go on and on reading about these ladies because I'm so proud of them. But um, she says that for her body, Priscilla, it pushed her in places she didn't think that she could go. She says, I was surprised I did that. It sculpted her entire body. She lost inches all the way around. It gave me, me endurance to outlast, stamina to keep going, and endorphins that gave her a natural high. The challenge toned her arms, slimmed down her legs, shaved off the saddlebags, built a strong back, a rock-hard core, chiseled her obliques, lifted her booty, defined her calves for stilettos, and overall, her body feels amazing. So this is great. Um, Husna, she also did it, and she says, Raw Stars, we did it. Finish the challenge very strong. This has been the best challenge ever. Thank you so much for supporting us and uplifting our lives, Tiffany. I loved your motivational messages. They really helped me. I've lost four pounds, and this challenge has made me mentally and physically very strong. I was able to give up on some of my bad food habits, and I realized that when we commit to something in life, we can be successful and be a winner too. I gave 100% to all the workouts. It made me strong, and I've started loving myself. So I am so happy because the self-love of being a queen is the most important thing. And last but not least, I have Chris. She says, the benefits that I had by doing this challenge are uncountable, but I will try and point them out. First of all, I've learned how to break bad habits. I stayed away from temptations because they became weaker and weaker since I like to be on top of them. I learned that I can still have a good time with my girlfriends even without indulging in unhealthy foods. And I keep telling myself they're not good for me. I'm okay without them. I realize that I can be committed. I thought I can, or I don't know, or I really don't have to follow the plan that closely. I'm okay with a few exceptions, but not anymore. Family and people around me know that I will not make exceptions, and they have even stopped offering me things that I don't eat or drink. Why is commitment so important? I think Tiffany can answer this better, but from what I can say is once you're committed to working out, you will learn to like the feeling and you will learn to be committed in other things too. You will feel successful in all that you do because what you focus on expands. She also said, I proved to myself that no matter how busy or tired I am, I can still take one hour a day for myself and it feels so good to be a priority. Once I take care of myself, I can take care of others too. It is because I am energized, I am happy, and I become a positive influence to the people around me. So this is really important because a lot of times as women and as mothers or as heads of our families or our friends, we think that we can take care of everybody else and then we will just kind of, you know, get by. But it doesn't work that way. When you prioritize your life, your health, your happiness, your energy, your state of mind, it's like a domino effect. It actually uplifts everyone around you. Your children, your husbands, your boyfriends, your friends, because you are a different person and you have a brighter light. So I love that Chris was really able to tap into that. She also said that she had fun with the workouts and she always took time out. She feels overall happier. Her moods are way more stable than before. And working out is what has helped her get back on track after struggling with mood disorder for quite some time. Only working out with Tiffany and sticking to her food plan made me get better. I did not need medication anymore. I did not need counseling. I could get myself better and better each day, and each year was better than the previous year. She says, if I, didn't, if I hadn't started this plan, I don't know what would have happened to me since I was at a very low, po low point when I joined the club. Now I am way above things that I could not have done it without Tiffany and her amazing team. Thank you, Tiffany, and thank you, girls. You have helped me to be happy again. You have put a smile on my face again, and you have helped me getting back to my family into a loving and happy family, not a stressed and worried family. So, Chris, I can tell you that 
you were consistent throughout this challenge. You gave yourself almost a, your average for your, your workouts and your food plan was a 10. You said that you wanted to really work on your booty. And I can tell you guys, when you see these before and after booty pictures, it is on fire. I'm telling you, Chris, you are the queen in 2017. Woohoo! So everybody, a big congratulations to Chris from Japan. She is the queen in 2017 because she gave 100%. She uplifted everybody. She stuck to the plan. She posted every day. She also gave herself, because we had to evaluate herself, a 10 for her workouts, for her food plan, and she set a goal, which was to improve her booty, and she had achieved it. That booty is banging, and I am so proud of you, Chris. You have a one-year free membership in the TRFC. Woohoo! I'm super, super excited for you, and congratulations once again. You did an awesome job. I love you, and I love all of the members who participated. And remember, as always, we are better.